Hey guys, the POE photo guy here and today will be a very very special POE session with the brand new Lens Baby Obscura. Yes, look at that. So let's go around the city and I will tell you more about the new Lens Baby Obscura. The Obscura technically it's a pinhole lens, what means it needs a lot of light. Unfortunately our city has a constant cloud and rain in the past few weeks so i cannot shoot sunlight but later on i'm going to the city and take pictures with the city lights so as you can see there is three options there f90 yes you heard it right f90 f45 and f22 there is a tram coming over there so let's see at f90 That's nice. The sunlight is very beautiful. So still on F90 and ISO 8000. Let's see. The Obscura is not for everybody. It's for photographers who really like to tighten the boundaries. F45. You need to be creative with this lens. What about this one? F22. The lights are on now, so let's see how it looks like. F22 The Obscura comes with two versions One is the full frame version And this one is the Micro Four Third version What is a 16mm pancake lens The concept of the Obscura is go back to the origin of the photography To the pinhole photography so this is absolutely not for sport photographer but who you like to experiment with the light so as you can see there is no aperture only the shutter speed because it's a fixed aperture you need to crank up the ISO very high as you see I'm 6400 and shutter speed is 6 and I will show you something very cool I'm turning between the two options and it gives a pretty cool style. You can use between the two options for example. So let's see F90 and F45. And I have a double kind of a double exposure image I'm not sure if you can see when I'm changing it's also changed you can see on your scale it is underexposed or overexposed so you have to careful the F90 is the pinhole but it's technically not a lens but a clear round hole. The F45 is a pinhole sieve. It has a larger pinhole in the center and the smaller pinholes radiating away from the center. And the 22 is the zone plate and there is circular rings around the hole. 22. I'm playing around my shutter speed. Oh, I like the lights, the car. Look at that. Because the high aperture makes sure your camera sensor is super clean. Otherwise, you can get dirty pictures like this one. If I choose between the two options and I make double exposure, technically I can 
do a quad rex for sure let's see i'm on 45 and 22 between and on the menu multi-exposure double frame and let's see this one expo and two expo let's see on the ground oh that's pretty cool F90 for me the F90 is the old school style of photography and the 45 and the 22 is more like about the lights how it how the lights reflects this is a pretty cool location okay f90 i went down with the eyes okay 1600 f45 let's see in video I'm between F90 and 45. I like it this way. Let's try to rotate quick. As you can see, you can be very creative with this lens. I think that's it for today. If you have any further question, leave a comment below and uh, you can find more details about the Lens Baby Obscura in the description. So check it out and see you in the next one. Bye.